Hey friends, happy Tuesday. It's Connor here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. So let's do one more candle review today and we are going to be talking about Jelly Beans from Kringle Candle. If you missed it from earlier, I did a review on the Marshmallow Chicks from Kringle Candle. Definitely check that out if you missed it. But yeah, I am doing some Easter candle reviews today. There were three in the collection. The Chocolate Bunnies, I already did a review of that one last week. So make sure to check that one out as well. But yeah, I'm just going to be wrapping up this final candle reviews for the Easter collection at Kringle. Um, I'm very pleased to say that this one is currently available. So I will link it down below in the description if you are interested in shopping. The Chocolate Bunnies and the Marshmallow Chicks did sell out and they are no longer available. But if you do um, think that this one sounds interesting or think that you would enjoy it, you are still able to purchase this one. I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, so you can use my code CONNOR15 to get yourself 15% off of your order. Again, the link to shop as well as my code is down below in the description. But yeah, um, we're going to talk all about jelly beans here. I'm just going to start off with this label because I really thought that the packaging was just so cute and all um on all three of these candles but like especially this one it just looks like easter you know it just looks like that really cute like plaid color i just i love the colors i love the look i love the design this would be so cute on like a centerpiece for easter or if you're just like um you know you have like a table and you want to pull out a candle this would be perfect for that it really just looks like easter packaging on a candle i love it um, but yeah, so jelly beans, we um, are going to be talking all about this one. Let's talk about the descriptions and the notes. So the description reads featuring blood orange, pomegranate and, and bergamot with a base of acai berry and orange Our jelly beans scented candles are deliciously fruity. You'll want to grab a handful. Your top notes are blood orange, pomegranate, your mid notes are cassis and bergamot and then your base notes are acai berry and orange. Okay, so I was a little bit nervous about this one because to me it kind of sounded like a like super like fruity, borderline citrusy. There were some notes in here where I'm like, oh, I don't know, because normally cassis I'm not always a huge fan of. I didn't know how the orange was going to be, but actually pleasantly surprised I actually enjoy this one a lot um it does smell like a jelly bean like I wouldn't say it's like honestly compare compared to the tutti frutti candy from Bath and Body Works I think that that one is more like a jelly bean scent this one to me is more of just like a sweet fruity blend I feel like orange is probably the base and I feel like it's more of like a sweet orange maybe a candied orange um, I do get some pomegranate. I think it plays in well with the acai berry and just like the overall fruitiness. Um, the cassis, that is what I was nervous about because I'm normally not a huge fan of cassis. I do get that like little bit of cassis note in here. I don't think it's like a huge note in here. I don't think that it's anything um, that like is gonna scare me away from this one, but like normally cassis or current, I'm not a huge fan of. I do think there's a little bit in there though. But yeah, overall, I think this is actually a really nice scent. I just think it's a nice fruity blend. To me, I don't know if it like smells exactly like Easter, but I feel like the rendition that they did on this one is pretty good. I know that they had a jelly beans candle a couple of years ago. I can't remember what year it was and I did not have it but I'm wondering let me know in the comments if you guys picked that one up let me know if it's the same scent as this one because um yeah this is not a bad scent I like it it's not something that I would normally go for and I don't know if it's something that I'm going to necessarily repurchase but um yeah it's a nice fruity blend if you enjoy those types of scents all right, but let's go ahead and talk about the performance on here. Starting off with the burn, here's your overhead view. Gorgeous, gorgeous burn. I'm at the halfway point here and it is doing so well. As you guys know, I just, I love the, sorry, trying to fix this. I love the 100% soy formula that Kringle uses. Um, it's just such a clean burning formula. 
The wicks are amazing. You don't have to trim them. They don't soot. There's no tunneling, discoloration. Like it truly stays that like white wax all the way down. It's a really nice burn. It's something that I always appreciate, but I appreciate about Kringle burns because you know, sooting can become an issue on a lot of candles and I don't want to have to repaint my walls and I don't want to have to, you know, clean up soot on a jar. I also just think that like looking at a candle and seeing soot on the room is not very appealing. <laughs> like if I have this like sitting in the middle of a table and there's just like soot lined all across the room, but that's not very appealing for me. So um, I just love how these candles burn as cleanly as they do. Um... Now to the strength and throw, as I said, for the chocolate bunnies and the marshmallow chicks, this line has been doing really well for me in strength and throw. I would probably give this one somewhere between like a seven and a half to an eight. I would say it's slightly lighter than the marshmallow chicks and the chocolate bunnies, but it's still got a really nice throw to it, like a seven to a seven and a half. Um, it's a really good throw. Definitely fills up the room well and then goes into other rooms and it's just a really nice strong scent to have around. So yeah, I actually really do like this candle and I'm very satisfied with the burn and the strength and throw. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys picked this one up and if you did, let me know your thoughts on it. I would love to hear it in the comments, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. Make sure to check out the links in the description. Use that code CONNOR15 and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.